welcome again to Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. My name is Eric the Bug Guy Palmer, and I'm with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control. Uh, our previous video explained subterranean termites, or gave an, an introduction to subterranean termites, and so I'd like to use this video to help explain dry wood termites. That's the other kind of termite that lives in this area, and that can be an issue to you and your home. Now, dry wood termites live their entire life within the structure. Everything they need to survive, they have to find within that structure. All the wood, all the water, um, all the shelter, etc. Everything has to be found within that wall. They don't go to the ground. They don't go anywhere else. Everything has to be there. Now, one of the blessings of Southern Utah, then, is we live in an arid environment. And that arid environment naturally mitigates the chance of um, the pine wood to have enough moisture for those termites to exponentially expand. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have them. It just means that it naturally mitigates and makes the problem a little less uh, strenuous for both you, the consumer, and for the pest control technician. Um, so the most common way that you would get a, uh, a dry wood termite is after you have been, uh, or after your home has been in the way of a swarm. So there's a mother colony, and that colony creates critical mass. Uh, and the queen in that colony knows that, hey, if I want my species to continue to exist, I need to send out some reproducers and, and to start a new infestation. So she'll send out thousands to tens of thousands of swarming termites, flying termites. And they'll be flying around, and they're not very strong flyers, so predominantly... Uh, they'll land where the predominant wind of the moment was pushing them. So if you've got a wind coming down from the north-northwest, it's going to push those termites and push them right into whatever structure, whatever tree, whatever uh, whatever's in the way. They'll start landing on those, and they'll walk around for a little bit, and they'll break those wings off. And what they're looking for is nice, soft, untreated wood to infest. Uh, they're looking for wood that isn't painted that isn't siliconed up, that isn't uh, treated, that is exposed available wood. And uh, they'll start digging right on in and they'll start a new colony. Now it's not uncommon then for one home to actually have a couple of different little small colonies going on. It's not the most common thing in the world, but it's not uncommon either. And so the termites, they'll start a very localized infestation and uh, they'll branch out from there. Now, again, I, I keep reiterating, the blessing of living in southern Utah is that it's naturally arid and it naturally mitigates the chance for their rapid expansion. So typically, we find dry wood termites located around doors, around windows, and around other load-bearing structures where studs are nailed up against each other. It's called a king and a jack stud. King stud is that longer stud, and a jack stud is nailed right up next to him. He's a little bit shorter. And the way I explain this to my clients is, if you take a sponge, and let's say you just have a, a regular old sponge, and you saturate it with water, and then you rinse it out, and you sit there, it's going to be a moist sponge, correct? Good. And if you put that out in the sun, eventually it will uh, evaporate and turn into a dry sponge. Well, if we took two sponges and saturated them, rinsed them out, and then glued them together, is there going to be more moisture there? or less moisture? Is it going to take longer to evaporate or shorter? That's right. It's going to be more moisture. There's more area holding on to that moisture. Pine wood is the exact same way. The more studs you have nailed up against each other, the more opportunity they have to hold on to that moisture. And so with dry wood termites who need to get the water that they need to survive from the lumber itself, itself will naturally congregate to these type of areas. Um, so what's really important to remember is when you find dry wood evidence to get to it relatively quickly so it doesn't continue to expand. Now a key thing to know when uh, you're dealing with dry woods is they secrete frass or secretes the wrong word. They will kick out frass. Frass is just the correct word for their defecant, their poo essentially. And they look like small little footballs. They're wooden little footballs. And they'll create a little kick hole. They'll do damage within the structure, damage within the wood, damage, damage, damage. And because they live their entire life within the structure, eventually they need to find somewhere to get rid of their uh, 
their potty. And so they'll dig a little hole to the surface of the wood that they're eating, that they're infesting, and they start kicking their defecant, their frass, right out of that hole. And a lot of times when I get the call is when a homeowner notices that they've got a pyramid, a pyramid of frass right near that kick hole, or sometimes it's not uncommon to see a lot of little frass spread all over the floor. Now, if you want more information about dry wood termites and specifically about frass, tune in again because that'll be my next video. We'll go a little bit more into detail about frass and what you can tell about a termite colony, about the infestation, just by looking at the frass. Uh, once again, my name is Eric the Bug Guy Palmer. I'm with Southwest Exterminators where we personalize your pest control and you are watching Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and share this so we can help educate other people in the area uh, to make everyone a well-informed, good consumer of pest control needs. And if you have a specific question that you would like me to answer, please feel free to send that question to office at southwestexterminators.com and I would love to make a video just for you. Once again, Eric the Bug Guy Promer, have a great day.